Hello, Taurus. We have a new connection here. Someone coming in who will not be thwarted by all the busy things that you do with your life. Let's dig in and see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Taurus tarot reading. It is a general reading for January 2nd through the 8th, 2022. Happy New Year, everyone. Let's dig in to see what sort of thing we have for you guys for next week. Pinhead Punchinello, number 24, reduces to a six with more goddess energy, which is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hmm. I, every time I see this card, that that little clown just does not look phased or pleased. It says, do you ever feel a little too blessed with new ideas, dreams, and ambitions? Maybe it feels like you need more hours in the day to attain all you desire, to complete every course, read every book, create every dream, and live at least 10 lifetimes in just one. Or maybe you just feel overwhelmed with possibilities and choices with demands on your time and things to do. Hmm. Okay, so this energy is about knowing how to balance. The Pinhin Punchinello, this this is this is a crafty, creative energy that knows how to multitask. And knows how to make all of the things revolve around one thing. Okay. Let's see what sort of energy we're going to get to complement the Pinhead Punchinello today. So we have a very busy Taurus here. <laughs> very, very busy Taurus. I can relate. My son is in Taurus. And I've got too much stuff to do, too. <laughs> Let's see where we go. Ah, in the world, not of the world. I'm getting that some of you, if, if you're taking a spiritual class or if you're doing regular meditation or Tai Chi, which is a form of meditation, um, that this is actually keeping you grounded while you generate what it is you're trying to make. Okay, whether it's money and, you know, Taurus, that's kind of typical. <laughs> that's typical for us. Um, whether it's material wealth, assets, or connection with another person. This could also be, this busyness can also be what's getting in the way of connection. Which we're going to find out. What is going on with Taurus next week, please? Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Six of Cups on the bottom. All right. Wow. <laughs> Lovers. Card of Gemini. Devil. Card of Capricorn. That's your Earth cousin. Princess of Pentacles. Seven of what? Yep. Yeah, you're scared. Nine of Pentacles. So someone is wanting to kind of shake your foundation a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Really? Could be an Aries. You might want to check the Aries reading too. Aries, there's Aries, Scorpio, Leo here. And on the board we have Gemini and Capricorn. Um, there, There is someone here that it looks like they weren't able to move forward with you before. This is not X energy. I'm going to read this as you, Taurus. This is your person you're connecting with, and this is the situation. The situation is the lovers. You could have known each other in childhood. I'm kind of getting some longevity of knowing of each other, but not associating with each other. So it could be friends of friends, you know, um, classmate that was X amount of years ahead of you in school kind of thing that you never had the same classes together. There, there's something there where there is some sort of familiarity. Okay. And it looks like this person is ready to take that leap. Okay. They're, they have their shit together. Okay. And it looks like they're coming in with some communication to you. Could be text, email, 
you know, DM something to that effect. And you are freaking out because you have gotten your bearings. You might try to block or slow this person. Good luck trying to slow the emperor, though, because the emperor was under the deck. No one can slow that dude. Um, you could only thwart him for a short period of time. He's clever. He's going to figure out how to get where he needs, where he wants to go. I mean, where he wants to go. Ooh, okay. So it feels like you have created a stable life for yourself and whatnot. And this person comes along and kind of shakes that foundation because they know what's there between you. Okay. Hmm. This does feel similar to the Aries reading. So if you do have Aries in your chart or your person does, okay, you might want to check that out for more messages. Let's get into this. Let's start with the lovers, please, in this situation. Let's expand on the lovers. Okay. <laughs> Five of one. Yeah. <laughs> the moon, Pisces energy. King of swords, Aquarius energy. Ten of pentacles. Yeah, this is feeling more like that Aries. Star, nine of cups, five of cups, six of cups. So this feels like this person, this feels like this person is the masculine. Sun underneath with the moon, yeah. This is really lovely. This is really lovely. Despite the turbulence that's further back there, that feels like the past with other people. Um, this, this feels fresh. Like you've, the two of you are familiar with each other, know of each other, but you've never been in a relationship or dated before. Okay. Um, this connection, there's a lot of... I feel like he's coming in with it. Um, a lot of what you don't see is that this masculine actually has discovered a whole lot of clarity when it comes to uh, long-term relationship, those that feel destined, the, and, and understanding what they actually need in a partner, okay? Because it looks like there's acknowledgement of one that was lost, okay? Or regret of in a connection in the past, okay? Um, I do feel like you're going to th try to thwart them and you, you may be successful, but only for a very short while because this dude sees the star with you, the lovers and the star. Okay. That w once he knows it's there, he's, he's gunning for it. Okay. King of swords sees it very, very clearly. Okay. That understanding what it is that he wants in a uh, soul partner, long-term connection. Okay and the regrets that he had in any connection that happened before that didn't have what he needed. Okay. Devil card of Capricorn, your birth cousin. Let's see what we have there with Capricorn, please. Oh, nice. Justice card of Libra, Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. That's going to balance out and flat out change any of those fears. Okay that are lingering in there about blocking this person. That's going to balance out and change. Excellent. Seven of Wands, please. Let's get the Seven of Wands. <laughs> Prince of Pentacles. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Two of Cups. Seven of Cups. Prince of Cups. He is going to make sure that you know he's front and center. He is the option. He is the option. Doesn't he doesn't give a shit how slow you make him go. <laughs> he is gonna do it. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> You're trying to hold it up. It ain't working. He might like for a second be like, wait, is there someone else? And then he's gonna no. No no no. No 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 no. Okay. Four of Wands. Show me the Four of Wands, please. I like this guy. This is, yes. Okay, World. Beautiful Ace of Wands. Ten of Swords, Empress. Ace of Swords. Interesting. Interesting. Ah, so it's a King of Cups. Okay, yeah. Watch the Aries reading, because this, this freaking guy showed up. <laughs> so... What happened in the Aries reading is what's happening now. Okay. 
this feminine restricted her heart space because of a ten of swords that happened with a king of cups okay this particular cycle though um actually this feels like you because being the feminine um this particular cycle though it was a full cycle see ace of swords empress that's you in the middle taurus and libra then ten of swords that's a full cycle ace to the ten okay you managed a shit show cycle to close it out to get the clarity that you needed on a dumpster fire situation in order to kind of light the way okay light the way elsewhere for you this is a significant soul completion soul contract completion with whoever this was okay and it could have been another soulmate you know that's that's who usually who contracts are with not always but um there's a significant you went through shit so you definitely don't want to go through it again <laughs> right there's a little bit of hope here okay a little bit of hope here that gets you over the hump of any of this pain that's left so you start looking forward to this okay oh, i love this love this masculine great masculine Hermit's card of Virgo, four of swords. So they've done the healing thing. They have done the healing thing. And they look like they're ready, Teddy. Oh, Hermit and the Moon. Okay. So a lot of stuff happened to them that you did not see, just like they did not see you with you. Okay. Show me the Princess of Pentacles. These messages coming in, please. Show me about this communication with the Princess of Pentacles. Ooh, sun. Six of Cups, you both have it now. Oh, so you're trying to play it cool. I'm sorry, they're trying to play it cool. Sun card of, that's Leo energy, Six of Cups, Seven of Swords, Page of Cups. Trying to come in in a small way that doesn't frighten that doesn't activate the defensiveness okay um trying to use past rapport as a way to further things along that's kind of funny <laughs> that's kind of funny it's like oh yeah our families know each other it's gonna be totally fine kind of thing there's some sort of association usage usage of association hmm give me one more on this sun this feels a little bit more proactive There's not just a point here where this person has worked on themselves, but they really love their job. They really love their job. Conversation about making something happen. Ooh. So that's a lot that's a lot of it's a lot of fire. Okay. In the Aries reading, the feminine had um, a depth of fire showing up as the Empress, and that looks like it's starting to come up here too. Okay. Um, so you Taurus this masculine is going to discover that in you okay nine of pentacles please expand on the nine of pentacles please. queen of swords now we have king of swords queen of swords okay seven of coins yep empress ah making the investments on the broken-hearted empress so it's it's almost like they know that something something bad happened even though they don't maybe that yeah they didn't ask you and this connection it could have been they heard that uh they found out that another connection kind of shattered with you there's ten of cups at the bottom there um yeah there's a little bit of toxicity and anger and regret there um we're starting to get into that soulmate territory here, um, big significant soul bond territory. There is, but what it is that's happening here, it's gonna become very clear to you that you're building with, that that they're building with you. I, I feel like I'm talking to the masculine. I'm supposed to be talking to the masculine directly because this is the masculine. Um, for the cross watcher, when, when you meet 
come into contact with Taurus and things start developing, whether it's friendship or directly into dating, whatever it is, it looks like it's clearer to you, even though they may not, Taurus may not be fully open about it, but there's some that this is your broken hearted Empress. Okay. The breakthrough for her is actually going to be this connection. Okay. It's, it's going to be a catalyst for healing for her, possibly you as well. But I see you acknowledging that, knowing the steps to take. Okay. The Fool. Let's expand on the Fool. Oh, no. Too many flipped over. Too many. Too many. Okay. Page one. Ooh. You're going to flirt. Ask her out on a date. Wait for that response. Waiting. Praying. And there it is. <laughs> And there it is. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Oh, and then it happens. So she might leave you on red for a minute, but it does seem like this is a Taurus that has a lot of shit happening. No offense to Taurus, because I'm one of those Tauruses, actually. <laughs> okay, so Taurus, this is coming in. The knee-jerk reaction is to block. Okay, they understand by what it is that you're giving mirroring back to them what steps they need to take in order to make a path with you feasible so this lover's connection can happen it's the sun and the moon guys it's the sun and the moon the sun the moon the lovers the six of cups the two of cups it's 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 so many beautiful things okay and it's something that is clearly not of this world but somehow it is in this world Okay, it gets to be in this world. You have been through some shit. I'm sure they have been too. There's something where they are a bit methodical in their approach with you. Um, so they're going to be able to read you like, what is it that Taurus needs in order for this to proceed forward? I'm noticing this, 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 and this. So maybe I should do this and this. Okay, so I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with this masculine. I'm going to see what's going on with him in his current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I will see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.